For nearly a decade, we've watched the saints as they rose from humble beginnings to becoming an unstoppable force of nature. In that time, we've seen how the saints rose to power. We've seen how the saints enact vengeance. We've even seen how the saints united both humanity and velociraptors. But for the first time ever, I share with you their most important story yet. For this, my friends, is how the saints saved Christmas. Or what? I uh, wasn't planning on it. Come on, don't be such a Grinch. I don't even know what that means. What sort of childhood did you have? I just think there's more important things to think about than some bullshit holiday. Looks like someone never got on the nice list. Yeah, and see, that's the thing. There is no nice list. So Christmas, Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Yule, Festivus? You don't care about any of it? That's right. You don't like the songs? Nope. You don't like the gift giving? I already take whatever I want. I said giving. Whatever. You don't get excited about setting up the Nightblade Nativity every year? Uh, that's slightly intriguing, but no. What about Santa? Fuck Santa. What's happening? Were we hit? No, the proximity alarm didn't go off. This is something different. Shandy? We don't have a lot of time. Claus is coming. What? Claus, a warlord from my time, your future. By the time we learned about him, it was too late. He was too powerful. The only chance we had to stop him was to send me back here to warn you. Oh, wait. If you could go back in time, why didn't you go back even further and warn us about Zenyak? Isn't that a little more important? You don't get it. This isn't about Earth. Come midnight, Christmas Day, Santa Claus is coming to town, and unless we stop him, he is going to put the universe on the naughty list. And trust me, you don't want to be on the naughty list. Sorry I asked. So Santa's evil? No, Zinyak's had Santa trapped for decades, slowly but surely degrading his mind. If we don't free him soon, it'll be too late, and he'll never be jolly old Saint Nick again. Guys, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. All right, all right, I'll save Santa. Oh, look, another terrible fucking sweater. Thanks, Kenzie. In Santa's nightmare world, the holiday spirit doesn't exist. So if you want to bring it back, you wear whatever it takes. Real guns aren't allowed here, so we'll have to check the store and do a little holiday shopping. Also, be careful of your language around Santa. We're trying to stay on his nice list. Are you serious? Come on, the town department store is just ahead. What's with the crowd? They're here for the Crimson Cowboy Carbine Action 200 Shot Range Model Air Rifle. Crimson Cowboy! What have you done? Come on. Is this about being naughty? You have no idea what that causes. Look! Those who are naughty, look to the sky and see your doom with the naked eye. You willfully break the world's laws. Now feel the wrath of the mighty claws. Oh, fudge. Come, come as fast as you can. You can't stop me or my gingerbread men. You now cookies are attacking me? <laughs> Screw it. Time for a little crimson cowboy action. Wait! Claws is still too strong, and you'll shoot your eye out. Damn it! 
to hurt! Eesh. Santa? Is it really you? I always warn children about the dangers of such toys. But why do you look so thin? The holiday spirit doesn't exist here anymore. Claus made sure of that. So, Santa, how do we stop him? Start by ringing the holiday bells in the town park. That should bring a little spirit back to the people. Here. Ring the bells and then let's kill Claus. My dear Shandy, don't let your metallic parts turn your heart cold as well. Remember the holiday spirit you felt when you were younger. You know my name? Santa. I'm sorry. I had no choice but to harden myself to fight the war. I, I forgot how I used to be. Don't worry. That same girl is still inside you. In fact, I'll bet there'll be a brand new hockey sack under the tree for you this year. You need it? Thanks, Santa. I hope future Shandy's right. I can't believe I'm doing this. It'll take too long. Bells began ringing in the cheer, but more needs to be done. I don't understand any of this, so I'm open to suggestions. There was once a theater in town that played one of the great holiday classics, but the projector was stolen and frozen in a pool by claws. Find that, and the people will remember what they loved about the holidays. So we have to play a movie. Yeah, this sounds like a plan. It is not just a movie! It is a symbol of all that is good about this time of year! Don't worry, Santa. We can get the projector. Take out the guards so they don't hurt the projector when you grab it. Crack this ice. Now, we must get it to the drive-in theater and turn on the magic of the season. It's a movie. Call it what it is. Oh, it's more than simply that. It creates a feeling of joy and happiness that comes with remembering the warmth this season brings to those who embrace it. Whatever you say. Yes. Now quit being Grinch. I told the other you. I don't know what that means. The holiday spirit, it stings and burns. But that's not enough for the tide to turn. We brought him dead. But he's not defeated yet. The electricity here just isn't enough to keep the projector working. We need more. I noticed precisely that while viewing your progress from our ship. Meet me at the clock tower and I will increase the power. And it is a pleasure to meet you, Santa. Where is that floating tin can? Up! At the top of the clock tower! Keep Cross's minions from hurting me while I set up a conductor on this antenna. For what? A storm is brewing. And lightning is sure to strike. <laughs> what a wonderful idea. You must be joking. Sam, do you know what happened to the North Pole? Exactly. I do. Claus has shown me images of an attack on my workshop. My head elf, Twinkle, has even joined with him. Twinkle? He's the one who took my arm. I'm sorry, my dear, but there is hope. The rest of the elves are being led by Tinsel against Claus's naughty forces. Mary? <laughs> Don't worry about Mrs. Claus, John. I'm sure she can take care of herself and the North Pole until we arrive. That's good to hear. If Claus gets his hands on the North Pole, then we're in serious trouble.
I need you to put your tongue on the pole to help conduct the electricity. The fuck you say? Not in front of Santa. Shawnee Jr. would Sid asked me to do. No way I'm doing that. No. Well then, I dare you. Hell no, that is not happening. But this has to be done. Fine. I double dog dare. To. Are you both insane? Then you leave me no choice. I triple dog dare you. Well now, you know what that means, don't you? Jesus, are you alright? Zombie, I am not talking to you right now. The power is restored. I can feel the people in town filling with cheer. Hurry, we must return to the drive-in. Set this up so we can kill him and get out of here. The spirit's alive, but still I live. Come face me now. There's punishment to you. Don't let him fool. We can keep your suit on, Santa. I got this. The holiday here you cannot save. I will not go to an early grave. Sorry, Claus. Not from where I'm standing. What just happened? You cannot defeat Claus by doing naughty deeds, for those are what he thrives on. Claus is going after the North Pole, and we have to stop him. Indeed, you are correct. We cannot leave Mary and the elves to face him alone. Seriously? The North Pole? Fine, let's go. I finally get to see it before it's been destroyed. <laughs> and perhaps make sure it never is. <laughs> <laughs>